Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, has arrived in the Chechen Republic at the invitation of the President of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Akhanovich Karadvish. His Highness and his accompanying delegation were received at Grozny International Airport by the Chechen Prime Minister, Muslim Khrushchev, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ahmad Abdurrahman Al Sati. The President of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Akhmadovich Kadyrov, received the command of the Royal Guard Special Force, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, where he welcomed His Highness's visit. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty's wishes of health, happiness and continuous progress for the Chechen Republic and its brotherly people. His Highness expressed delight in visiting the Republic of Chechnya, noting the distinguished relations between the two countries. His Highness also thanked the President for his hospitality and expressed appreciation for his efforts in supporting the Bahraini Chechen relations in all various fields, wishing him good health and prosperity and his country further progress. For his part, the President of the Chechen Republic asked His Highness Sheikh Khalid to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and wish Bahrain further prosperity and progress. He noted that His Highness's visit promotes the relations between the two countries, wishing him and his accompanying delegation a pleasant stay. He also praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in strengthening means of cooperation between the two countries to achieve mutual interests and develop relations in various fields. The Chechen President hosted a dinner banquet in honour of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which was attended by senior officials of the Chechen Republic. The Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ahmed Abdurrahman Al Sati, and His Highness's accompanying delegation. The Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, witnessed a joint exercise in the Chechen capital Grozny, which came at the invitation of the President of the Republic of Chechnya, Ramzan Akovovich Kadyrov, and witnessed the participation of members of the Royal Guard Special Force. His Highness expressed delight for being in the Republic of Chechnya and witnessing the joint exercise, which supports the efforts of promoting cooperation relations, especially in the military field. His Highness also praised the outcomes of the joint exercise, which participates in developing the readiness of the participants in various military locations. His Highness was briefed on the objectives of the exercise and the various types of exercises and means of command and control, in addition to the operations of combating terrorism, intrusion, hostage situations and different methods to maintain security and stability. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fazia bint Abdullah Zainal, concluded her official parliamentary visit to Morocco, along with the parliamentary delegation. She stressed that the deep-rooted solid Bahraini-Moroccan relations are progressing steadily across various fields, thanks to the directors of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. The visit also witnessed a session of official parliamentary talks, co-chaired by Speaker Fazia bint Abdullah Zainal and Moroccan Council of Representatives counterpart, Habid al-Maliki. A memorandum of understanding was signed between both sides to activate the role of friendship committees and promote bilateral parliamentary cooperation. Within the framework of the official visit by the parliamentary delegation to Morocco, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia bint Abdullah Zainal, met with Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Nasa Burita. During the meeting, Zainal stressed that Bahraini Moroccan parliamentary diplomacy is working together to activate the parliamentary role in international forums and achieve common interests, defending the issues of Arab nation and strengthening the historical and close bilateral relations between the two countries in light of the keenness of the interest of His Majesty, King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the King of Morocco, Mohammed VI. She pointed out to the keenness of the Representatives Council in promoting joint cooperation with the Kingdom of Morocco in the interest of the brotherly peoples, noting that the exchange of parliamentary visits between the two brotherly countries contributes in strengthening the course of the relations at all levels. During the meeting, she praised the stances of the Kingdom of Morocco in support of the security and stability of Bahrain as a country of peace, tolerance and coexistence. 
For his part, Barita affirmed the depth of brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco and the great steps it has reached in expanding joint cooperation, stressing Morocco's support to the Kingdom of Bahrain in all measures taken to protect its security and stability against terrorism and foreign interventions. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference launches tomorrow for three consecutive days. It will be held under the slogan, Investing in the Fourth Industrial Revolution, Innovative Digital Economy. The conference is organised and supported by the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Union of Arab Chambers, Arab League, the Arab Investment and Export Credit Guarantee Corporation and the United Nations Industrial Development Organisation. It comes within the framework of encouraging investment and stimulating its environment within the environment of entrepreneurship, digital innovation and industrial revolution and curbing their accompanying challenges that may discourage them from making qualitative shifts in a variety of vital sectors.